So there's this guy or this girl, right? They're playing at the Australian Open, and it's six all in the fifth set for him or in the third for her. And suddenly, they start panicking. What's next? Is there a tiebreaker? And if there is a tiebreaker, is it at six games all or 12 games all? And if there is a tiebreaker, is it first to seven points or first to 10? Six all, 10 all, 12 all. Where am I? London, Paris, New York, Melbourne. What do I do? Who am I? I'm not even making this up. Ask British player Katie Bolter in the first round here. She's up 7-4 in the third set tiebreaker, and she starts celebrating. She forgot she needed 10 points to win. She survived the embarrassment and ended up winning the match. But if she had lost four grand slams and four different rules to conclude the fifth set, hello? Isn't there a federation here who's supposed to harmonize these type of things? Oh, yeah. You couldn't do it. You're too busy selling out the Davis Cup. <laughs> More than ever, the sport needs guidance and vision. Someone who can look beyond the petty rivalries of the ATP, WTA, ITF, and the Grand Slams. That is why I, John McEnroe, the self-appointed commissioner of tennis, has decided he is launching an exploratory committee to start a process to remove the title of self-appointed from my name and become the first ever commissioner of tennis. Yes. 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 If you don't comment on this video, I'll take it as a yes. If you like the video, I appreciate your support. And if you don't like the video, I will take it as fake news. Good night. <laughs>